Please be advised, the following video contains graphic violence. Attorneys for Oklahoma football player Joe Mixon have released surveillance video showing the running back punching a female student in the face. Earlier this month, the Oklahoma Supreme Court ruled that the video must be released to the public. Mixon's attorney, Blake Johnson, issued a statement following its release, writing in part, quote, Mr. Mixon asked us to once again say he is sorry for the way he reacted that night. He has apologized publicly to Miss Molitor, her friends, his family, teammates, and the university. He hopes that his voluntary release of these recordings will help put this matter to rest. The incident happened in July 2014 at a campus area restaurant in Norman, Oklahoma. The victim, Amelia Molitor, suffered four fractured bones in her face during the altercation. Mixon was charged with a misdemeanor, pleading guilty to the charge without making an admission of guilt. He received a one-year deferred sentence and was required to perform 100 hours of community service and undergo counseling. Mixon issued a formal apology, but also suggested that racial slurs were hurled at him, which he claims initiated the incident. I was not drinking. I have never had a drink in my life. At the end of the night, a group of apparently drunk people started harassing us. Some of my teammates were wise enough to leave. I did not, and I am sorry. Molitor has a pending civil lawsuit against Mixon. Her attorneys claim the narrative that Molitor spit on, punched, and hurled racial slurs at a cornered man is false. Mixon was suspended by the university for the 2014 season. A year later, Sooners head coach Bob Stoops addressed why he didn't kick Mixon off the team. In the end, we felt that he's been disciplined, Stoops said. He's earned a way back to have an opportunity for a second chance to redeem himself with strict guidelines that go with it. Mixon was a key contributor to the Sooners' success this season. The star running back played in 11 games, rushing for a team-leading 1,183 yards in eight touchdowns. A third-year sophomore, Mixon is eligible for the 2017 NFL Draft. According to NFL talent evaluators, Mixon could be considered one of the top running back prospects in the draft. For FoxNews.com, I'm Rob Demetrius.